Hello, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. How are you? I am bringing you, this is kind of a new little feature I'm testing out. So feel free to give me some feedback in the comments. Um, trying out a June 2021 forecast. I had a few extra days at the end of the month. And then, of course, you know, Mercury retrograde, everything started to fall apart once I committed to this little series of forecasts, but I'm going to finish it out. So even though this may be published on June 1st, it's still good for the month of June. Um, I'm taking each sign individually. So I'll Gemini, then Libra, then Aquarius. I'll use different decks. You'll see me rotate them out, but it's easier for me to do it grouped together because of downloading you know, time and um, so much more of my energy goes to getting these things up on the channel, honestly, um, in a way that they'll get seen, if you know what I mean. So it's a lot of legwork. Anyway, um, so I'm going to start with some Oracle from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. We'll see what energy center, if you think about the chakras, may need your attention in June. And we'll be focusing just in on your energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, that's the plan. It is time stamped and that will be a pinned um, comment. So you can check it out if you want to skip ahead to, to your sign. This is good for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. I'm throwing Mercury in there because the retrograde most of June. Mercury will be in retrograde. That impacts our communication, as you know. We've already got Saturn in retrograde, Pluto in retrograde until October. Pluto is our psyche and shadow. Saturn is, um, you know, the great teacher, karma, relationships, and work. Um, toward the end of June, June 20th, <clears throat> Jupiter will station retrograde as well. So <clears throat> June is a big month of retrogrades. And then we've got the new moon in Gemini, Gemini, um, with a solar eclipse. So we come out the wormhole on the other side of that, I think on June 10th is what I want to say. Okay. So I'm, uh, shuffling here for Gemini. I'm going to start with Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury, Oracle of the Seven Energies. What is coming through for Gemini? Oh, God, this gives me chills. Card 29, 2 and 9 is 11. Awakening genius. How perfect for you, Gemini. Oh, my gosh. So card 29 is um, throat chakra. It's the sound energy center. So you're awakening the genius, possibly of your voice, I want to say. Um, this is a newer deck to me, so I'll go ahead and read it for you. Look how beautiful that is. It says, the ancient Greeks believed that each person had a specific genius that acted like a spirit guide, inspiring you with new ideas to further your evolution as an individual, as well as the evolution of all humanity. You could say that genius is the spirit of creative expression. And when you tune into it, amazing things happen. When your genius awakens, you realize you do not have to do everything yourself. You have an inspired, dedicated, wise helper on your side. Today, can you imagine cultivating a playful relationship with this extraordinary spirit? If you can. You'll recognize that you don't have to solve every problem with only the knowledge, memories, and experiences you already have accrued. Your intellect, in this case, serves as a channel for the spirit of genius, and it can filter in new information. How you forge this connection is to get out of your own way and simply allow it to work through you. The word genius comes from the Latin uh, gen I want to say gignere, it's G-I-G-N-E-R-E, -E, meaning to bring forth or birth, and shares the same root as the word generate. So gignere, gignere, I never took Latin, guys, okay? Sh same, shares the same root as the word generate. You are at this moment about to give birth to a new mode of expression and a powerful one at that. Commit to partnering with your genius and only deep satisfaction and success will result. Today is a day when your inspired ideas matter. Well, Gemini, you're the ideas person, <laughs> right? Gemini, thought, communication, um, ideas, lots of ideas. Quick, 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 quick. And I feel as if um, you're being told you're, you know, you're being guided awakening genius in you right now. And you know, 
It's difficult for Gemini here. It's difficult for Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, and Sagittarius because we are the mutable signs. I say we on a Virgo um, because this whole um, uh, eclipse season is happening in your sign, Gemini, and it's really super powerful. Also, the Mercury retrograde is occurring in your sign, Gemini. So Mercury is what you give voice to. It is your method of communication. And it sort of feels to me like this is telling you that it's time to let it sort of bubble up under the surface, to let it cultivate, to let it generate, right? Your genius is generating while Mercury is moving or feeling like it's pulling you back. It's allowing you to review some things from the past before it turns around and goes back over the same material and stations direct toward the end of June or the third, um, the last third of June. I feel like you're a sleeping giant is what's coming through. Very wise and guided. Beautiful, beautiful message. Okay, so Gemini, what's coming through for you? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is, uh, and, Gem and Mercury, I should say. We're focusing on you for June 2021. All right, Gemini, here we go. Oh. <laughs> so what crosses you? The challenge is communication. Oh my God, that's perfect. All right. Okay. A little Virgo energy to help you hibernate. Remember I said sleeping giant? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's underneath. Interesting, interesting. Ooh. All right, Gemini. So <clears throat> right off the top of my head, there's a lot of fiery energy here. Wands, wands, wands. Uh, we do have the way you're showing up for June. We've got the, what this issue is. It's what's happening in the moment is there's this message of love you either want or it could be apology to. Let me just say that. Um, it feels like there's this communication that's needed from the heart and you're being challenged right now. You will be challenged, I should say, in June for that. Um, Eight of Wands is a card of communication. It's presenting as the challenge. What's underneath is all the wisdom you're gathering at this moment where you're kind of in recluse mode, the hermit is about self-awareness. Gathering self-awareness is a solitary journey. Nobody can give you self-awareness. You got to do that work yourself. So I do feel on some level what's happening underneath here. This is the below card. So it's not really in conscious awareness. And it feels to me like it is um, in your subconscious is this need to better understand yourself, right? Awakening genius. That's what I feel. Spirit guides coming through. Um, somebody guiding you, you becoming a guide, all of that is possible, but it is a little bit lonely. And I do feel you kind of want to reach out and touch someone with your words, and that's going to be a challenge in June. And it makes sense to me, Gemini, because of your ruling planet in retrograde. So there is this beautiful energy here of, um, the path being illuminated. So I, I feel like what's happening underneath, maybe outside of your conscious awareness, is you're being shown the way. Uh, in the recent past Ten of Wands, I feel like you offloaded a heavy burden or you've been carrying something for some time that you need to let go of. What I'm seeing you is not letting go, though. So in your conscious awareness, the above part of this reading is, you know, kind of almost as if you feel the best way to achieve your desired outcome is to not give up, is to push forward and persevere. And yet in the past, this has been a very heavy burden for you to carry, whatever it is. In the future, what I'm kind of seeing is part of this burden and something you haven't given up on here is an unfair fight. I almost feel as if you, um, there may be some sabotage here. It could be self-sabotage, but it may also be the person you're involved with um, who must always be right. Somebody here always feels the need to be right. And therefore it's a zero sum game, winner take all or everybody loses. And it is not the best energy uh, in the world. So I kind of feel like you are going to be, your communication will be sort of stalled out 
right? It'll be stalled out for a bit in June. And then when it picks up again, you go right back to the sort of the scene of the crime, if you will, to sort that out. So that's the energy coming through. Let me clarify to make sure I understand. I see Virgo here. We've got a lot of fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius may speak to you. Um, those, that's the most powerful energy. So if you're dealing with a Virgo or a fire sign, you that's what I'm trying to say. doesn't have to be, but that's what's coming through. I feel like June is going to probably be a month um, where you feel a little removed, you know, um, frustrated a little bit. Page of Cups. when you show up in your own reading a little bit little bit all right so we already had a tower moment it's underneath so it's not what's happening it's what has happened and i can see that in the past and i feel like there is you know something you've been trying to work up this conversation this message of love or apology it can be either or it's something you've been very focused on manifesting there is Gemini and Virgo in that um, magician card, but it's more a card of Mercury. And um, the magician has all the tools they need at their disposal to manifest that which they desire. It's something you're very focused on, right? To the exclusion of everything else is this little message. There's sensitivity and compassion here. It feels genuine. Um, and it does feel a little apologetic for this tower. So I almost see it as your own energy, Gemini. I see it as your own energy that you're really focused on creative solutions to a problem that may have created a tower moment and either wanting to manifest this message of love coming toward you or apology coming toward you or you offering it. And that's what gets frustrated because this is the crossing card. What crosses you is communication may be dicey so take that for what it's worth because it isn't going to be the case for 100 percent of you you know it's for the collective it can't resonate with everybody but consider it you know like a heads up this may not be the best time for talking things through especially serious something serious that went down no matter how hard you try it may be very frustrating uh, for you to try to communicate. Wow. Ace of Wands. Temperance. All right. And the Fool. So with the Fool and the Ace of Wands, that's what I'm trying to say. I feel like you're going to be sitting like on the head of a pin. You're feeling all this powerful passion and all this devil may care i'm gonna take a leap i'm gonna go all in and when it comes to communication you're being told no you need to wait patience is everything this temperance card is about self-control and self-restraint um with all all with regard to your com communication no much no matter how much passion may be coming in no matter how much you may feel inspired to act on your impulses and your passion, you are probably, it would be best off waiting, letting the energies come into balance and flow, and then being ready to take that leap and, you know, when the opportunity presents itself. So there may be a little frustrated energy in June around communication uh, with regard to love and apology for whatever happened with regard to the tower. Tower can be a million different things. You probably already know what it is to you. The Hermit. Wow. Oh my gosh, Maron. So look at this powerful, beautiful energy underneath. We have the Emperor, the Six of Wands, and the Four of Wands. So this is definitely about your person and maybe doing a little self-exploration. Um, you also may be partially becoming a guide in this phase where you can't really communicate or communication um, isn't ideal in this moment and you're sort of 
almost forced, I feel, to, uh, I, I'm feeling frustration, but um, yeah, you can't act on it is what I'm thinking. You're, you know, it's best to say nothing and to become wiser for that experience. Uh, that's the awakening genius that I'm seeing. And then I've got the, um, the emperor, the six of wands and the four of wands. So I do feel if you are here as a feminine, this is about making peace, making up, making nice with your divine counterpart, with your twin. Um, and you may need to guide that connection, but all this is underneath. It's the below part of the reading. So it's something that is like, you know, just like it was saying here, generating, gestating even a little bit because it, it's not something that you can take action on right now in the moment. Um, but all the wisdom you're gaining from this experience of having to wait, um, and exercise that self-control will help you move towards something where you can have that um, moment of reconciliation. Maybe more toward the end of June. I've been saying that to everybody for a reason because I don't want you all to think that the, all of June is scrapped. It isn't. It's only like the first two thirds. <laughs> the last third of the month should be better. 10 of wands in the past. This can be recent, it can be long ago, but it feels like I say recent, yes. There's something, some apology, wow. We have two tens here, 10 of wands, 10 of swords. So there's definitely a painful ending of a chapter in the past. Um, it was a heavy burden. I feel it, um, it could have centered around a commitment, a previous, you know, somebody you're committed to, but I almost feel it's, it was something like, um, you know, when you were true to yourself in the moment, you couldn't fake it. So again, that page of cups is a message of love um, or apology. And I'm seeing that message come through again. So it happened in the past and it's also showing up in the present and now you're still focused on it, but you can't take action. So whatever this page of cups is about, there's a message here that needs to be delivered for this difficult ending, a painful ending. The Ten of Swords is underneath, so I know it already happened, just like the Tower already happened. These two go together, got it? So painful ending, kaput, got it. Now focused on um, calling in, manifesting either this apology or the words, finding the words to offer in the event that you feel you're, you know, the one that needs to express the emotion. It, hey, I mean, it's a very human thing, so it can go either way. Um, I don't want to put everything on someone else is what I'm trying to say, but I feel like you were true to yourself in this moment. Um, it could have involved commitment. There could have been some question about commitment and everything kind of blew up and you just needed to offload all that heavy burden. Wow. So that's definitely heavy. So right now I feel like the nine of, um, wands is where you're headed. And it's sort of what you're trying to accomplish here. And the Nine of Wands to me is perseverance, not really giving up, albeit feeling exhausted and frustrated. I feel you think it's worth pursuing. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the cards right from the top, but I want you to see there are all little teeny tiny buds, green buds on all these wands. So what that tells me is, it's, you know, there's life, there are signs of life there. Even though this guy looks like the walking wounded, um, there are there is still a spark of life. Uh. <laughs> Gemini, you poor thing. You're like, oh my God, if I don't communicate soon, I'm literally gonna die. That's pretty funny. Knight of Wands, wow, and the Four of Swords. So underneath is the healing. I feel like um, you haven't given up on either a returning or this person returning. This could be someone coming back from the past during the retrograde. It could be this person that everything sort of kind of was closed. You kind of closed out a chapter here or a cycle that ended 
in a very difficult, burdensome, painful way. And there were probably words unspoken because now I'm seeing that you haven't given up on having that conversation. You may be frustrated now, but you think you really need to talk it through. And that um, Knight of Wands Sagittarian energy is somebody coming back from the past, you know, uh, could be you wanting to return to this person. Underneath is the Four of Swords, some healing taking place. And so while it may be painful and you have been through it, I can see that you've been through it here. I feel like you are on the journey. I feel like you're, you know, you're in it. I don't want to say to win it, but I feel as if you haven't given up and you think that the communication is the most important thing. Not a bit surprised there, Gemini. Not a bit surprised. Like, and I think you're ready. I think you're ready for the communication. If this person shows up or if you get the opportunity, I think you're going to jump at it and they may jump at it. That Knight of Wands, though, doesn't always, doesn't always think things through. So I think that's why Temperance is here, to let you know that, you know, timing is going to be very important. All good things take time, as they say. Five of Swords in the future. Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. So I'm feeling your independence here. Real strong, Gemini. This independence, this, this inner strength you have. Nine of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. Both cards of inner strength and self-reliance lead you to this new beautiful beginning and that happily ever after some measure of emotional fulfillment and contentment. But it's landing on a Five of Swords. So I almost feel like the Five of Swords is part of the Tower, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. So it's almost like it, it comes back up again because it wasn't sort of closed out. Since we're looking at communication for you and Swords is uh, air, it's communication, I feel there may have been some gaslighting, right? Somebody peeing on your leg and telling you it's raining. Um, could have been some gossip. Could have been somebody that came in between you and your divine counterpart um, and stirred up some shiz. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, so I almost feel like this independent energy that you show up with in the future is the door opener. It opens the door to new beginnings and more commitment that's grounded and abundant and brings back that beautiful happiness that you, you, know, you, you want. It's what you're after with your person. Right, because we know you want to reconcile here, and that's part of your personal growth uh, during this next few weeks. But I am a little concerned about that Five of Swords. Honestly, I am. That's the only thing that doesn't feel real kosherini to me. But Gemini, it's an interesting reading, awakening genius, um, really beautiful energy here for you, Gemini. So if this is speaking to you and you want to follow me, there is a link below just for you, Gemini. This, the extendeds are separate. They're specially priced because they're not as long and as detailed, but they're different from this. So I'm going to focus just on your divine counterpart. We're going to see how they feel about you, how they see you, and get you a message from spirit on what to do with all that energy, you know, some guidance. So that link is below. I look forward to seeing you there. If not, take care, and I'll see you in a future reading. So now that I closed out Gemini, I am moving on to um, Gemini. I'm moving on to Libra. So let me just pull up the cards here. I am using different decks, so you won't have to worry about that. And you can um, see the link below if you're following me. And if not, Gemini, thanks for spending a little time here with me. And I'm going to now move on to... Libra, a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Ready, Freddy. I am. So let's pull a card for you, Libra, from Oracle of the Seven Energies. What's coming through for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury for June 2021? Let 
thought I was gonna have a storm coming through. We had one this morning that delayed my work. And now it looks like the sun is breaking through, so yay, okay. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury, Oracle of the Seven Energies for Libra, June 2021. What energy center will you be working on, Libra? Oh, Wheeling Release. This is like, <laughs> it came out, um, I want to say for an Earth sign. Probably Taurus is what I'm guessing. All right, so it's the last card in the deck, which means it is the Crown Chakra seventh energy center of thought and here's what it says so i'm reading it again because i may not have seen the other Oop, ready some days you have to let go of your struggle to find an answer and focus on other things for a while this doesn't mean giving up altogether or losing anything remember that in our co-creative partnership with the divine give and take is necessary you do your part by setting your intentions and taking any necessary actions, but you must then surrender the form, the timing, and the how to your higher power. And don't I say that all the time, Libra? Aren't I always telling you, let go of attachment to the form and the timing? Got it? This is your card. There is a divine plan for each of us. When acting on this faith, you may find that your intense desire for something translates into a feeling of attachment and entitlement. Right now, can you immerse yourself in this experience and allow the divine plan to unfold as it will on your behalf without interference? Can you be open to receiving what is yours, even if it is not packaged in the form you thought you wanted? Perhaps if you look deeper, you will see that you've received the perfect vibrational match to your most authentic wants and needs. You have put in the work, defined your desires and felt them deeply and engaged your higher power. Now you must let go <laughs> and see what transpires. This isn't always easy. Impatience erodes the foundations of your trust in the divine. Surrendering truly will serve your highest good. Knowing this truth in your heart, can that really be so difficult? So this is the willing release card, the concept yielding to a divine plan, releasing attachment to form, especially if something isn't what you expected or wanted and leaving room for serendipity, right? Leaving room for that little uh, wheel of fortune, little bit of serendipity, expect the unexpected. I can't believe it's a second time out here and what set this whole thing in motion was uh, I had done a little post called Update, Updates in Oracle, and that card came out in that Oracle spread, and I cried because it was speaking to me too. So I kind of feel as a collective, Libra, we all have something we have to ex you know, embody that willing release. So let's see what's coming through for you here. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. This is for you for June 2021, a little forecast. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury for June 2021. Page of Cups, swear to God. This came out for Gemini. You just saw it with a whole other deck. High Priestess, so some issue with communication, um, maybe going on faith and intuition. I'll, I'll see in a moment. Oof, look what's here. Wow. So just like Gemini, you may, ooh, I like that for your future. You may struggle with um, some frustration with communication as well. In during the retrograde, very possible. But what I see here for you, Libra, is um, what's crossing you is the High Priestess, and that is your connection to your higher self. It can also represent separation and no communication between you and your divine counterpart. I do want to say that. Um, and obviously, stepping into the reading with that um, Page of Cups leads me to believe that there's a message of love and or apology that you would either like to offer and or receive underneath is the seven of pentacles so i feel as if you may not be as pressured um 
as perhaps Gemini was, you're kind of in that energy of playing the waiting game. Uh, I will clarify it so it's either patience or impatience, but kind of knowing the seeds have been planted and things will unfold organically. And that's why it's underneath because you're kind of got it out of sight, out of mind. I, I planted those seeds, what grows, grows. In the past, hanged man. So we have a lot of Pisces energy here. Just wanted to say that in case you're dealing with a Pisces, pretty powerful. But the hanged man is about that 30,000 foot view and delayed gratification. So this is about a delay that you experienced in the past. Um, it may have given you an opportunity for some objectivity, um, meaning the ability to see the bigger picture or the forest for the trees, but you may have perceived it as um, a sacrifice on some level. I will clarify that as well. Here, uh, what's crowning you is the eight of wands wanting that communication um, preparing for some form of communication from the heart and then in the future we've got new beginnings i like it ace of pentacles something grounded and stable abundant i'll take it all right what's coming through here for libra page of cups Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Wowzer, Wowzer, Empress. I love all the Divine Feminine energy coming in for these readings. So this is definitely about um, communicating with the one you love. Maybe talking about here this Page of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. This is this Queen of Pentacles could be an earth sign you're dealing with, or this could just be you really taking care of yourself in this moment. The uh, Queen of Pentacles, June, could be about self-care, getting yourself grounded. It is also a feminine archetype of life partner. So I want to say that only because I see the Two of Cups and the Empress. There's a lot of love here um, and partnership coming through with the Two of Cups. So the, um, the Divine Feminine, yeah, if it's you, Libra, then that Page of Cups is the sensitivity, the message that comes from your heart. And yet the Queen of Pentacles is very grounded, very committed, um, stable, dependable. Hmm. What's crossing you is this High Priestess. Show me the High Priestess, please. Yeah, because you don't have all the answers, Queen of Swords. Um, you need to get all your questions answered, Ten of Wands. That's the heavy burden is you're coming from a very logical place. Here's the challenge. The challenge is what I'm talking about. You'll be coming from a logical place, and what you need to do is come from your intuition. Um, underneath is the Seven of Cups, so there's lots of emotional overwhelm, possibly some confusion and mixed messages that are coming through. And so, you know, kind of remember where it said, get out of your own way here, Queen of Swords. Don't don't be so logical. I mean, that is part of your energy here, Libra. Don't don't be so logical minded that you um, can't feel and smell the roses here. Um, It'll be weighing on you. I can feel that Ten of Wands coming down on you heavy. Uh, I feel that the Queen of Swords energy for you is blocking your intuition. That may be part of your struggle, Ten of Wands, and may contribute to some emotional overwhelm. As you try to come through with this Page of Cups energy, these messages of sincerity, um, genuine... Um, between you and your counterpart. All the while, though, that Queen of Pentacles feels pretty damn grounded to me. And because I see more Pentacles here, I do think that Queen of Pentacles is, is your energy. If you're here as a Divine Masculine, it could be the person you're committed to. Mm-hmm. 
freaking nine of wands keeps coming out as well um yeah perseverance 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 everything up in the air so i see it this way we've got seven of cups i mean seven of pentacles i'm sorry seven of pentacles strength two of pentacles and the nine of wands the nine of wands and the strength card perseverance right gathering up your strength your courage your confidence and your perseverance to know you can overcome any obstacle when things are not settled when things are up in the air um there's no certainty there with that two of pentacles and so that's why the seven of pentacles is here you know just on some level i feel like you do have confidence that the seeds are planted so you're not really worried worried i'm not seeing worry worry i'm seeing some per perseverance underneath right um i don't feel you're you're not seeming as pressured to me um as maybe gemini was but still there's something here that's trying to be communicated and you need to come more from your connection to your higher self um, just like this willing release rather than the queen of swords being very logical and analytical about it even if you have questions and you're confused i still feel that that's part of the problem hanged man in the past So I kind of feel you, uh, I feel I'm speaking more to a feminine. I really do. Um, sort of seeing the big picture with regard to the divine masculine. That's how it's coming through. Sort of looking at the situation in the past. Um, Four of Pentacles, a little reserved, maybe kind of closed off and feeling somewhat guarded because there's impulsive, there was impulsive energy, the Knight of Wands. So I almost feel like this emperor came in too quickly. Maybe you didn't, maybe if you're the masculine, you decided to pull back and delay your uh, instant gratification for acting on impulse. But it's, you know, I'm seeing more feminine energy overall in the reading, quite frankly. So I just want to sort of let you know that. Um, and we all have both feminine and masculine energies within anyway, but I so, sort of feel as if on some level there's been some guarded energy with regard to the divine masculine who may be somebody who acts on impulse and that's just not floating your boat here. You're more analytical, you're um, a little bit more grounded and cerebral and the person that you've been dealing with um, is not. In the future... And I feel that's been an issue. It's in the past, but I feel it's been an issue. What's crowning you is this Eight of Wands communication. Knight of Swords, yes, clearing the air, Four of Swords. And the Ace of Pentacles is out again, yay! So this is clearly what you're aiming for um, that is your goal. I love that for you. And I'm seeing here the, um, the communication is about clearing the air to kind of complete the healing. Um, the, you know, it's like you've given this a lot of thought. You're giving this a lot of thought. This is Mercury retrograde. Reviewing, reevaluating, reassessing, you know, revisiting, reworking, realigning. Got it? and all the re's that mercury retrograde pulls us back through and i feel like you're going to be ready to speak truth to power and maybe clear the air something may have slipped out sometimes the knight of swords is an energy of anger or a temper flare and maybe something was said um in haste or in anger and there's like this need to communicate it's either toward you or you to them because that's what the page of cups is about message of love or apology and looking and underneath right here is this ace of pentacles new beginning and like getting getting this com this connection back on track um committing re-upping your commitment to each other that's possible or you may just be totally clearing the air and offloading this whole thing for a new beginning somewhere else for some of you that may be the case um, i'm not seeing that as the predominant theme coming through though 
I feel like this Ace of Pentacles is within this connection. The hint is the Queen of Pentacles, wanting that commitment, being prepared for a commitment with the partner and all this beautiful love of the Divine Feminine underneath coming through. So let's look at our Ace of Pentacles going forward. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, after all that um, instability, Four of Cups. So I see Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Five of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Hold on, it's been a long day. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Cups. I feel like I'm seeing your independence here in this new beginning. Um, but on some level, there's some instability swirling around. You may feel like you've been left to your own devices, potentially abandoned a bit because I'm seeing you here still single. And this five of pentacles is pissing you off. Four of cups, you're not going to be happy about it. So I feel like there may be um, a bone of contention here about how to proceed. So once you have this communication, right, I'm telling you, Look at that Knight of Swords. What do you see in the background? I see the tower, right? Doesn't that look like the tower? And so I'm feeling like there's, um, there may be some hostilities here that are being revisited. That's what's crowning you right now. You see it as clearing the air for the new beginning, something more committed and stable. And I'm not sure that this person buys in completely. Your person may not buy in. It may be important for you to stay more independent, um, working on your own life for a while, but I don't think you're going to be very happy about it. Four of Cups and kind of some emotional detachment there. So if this is speaking to you, Libra, and you want to kind of see what your person um, has to say the extended, the link is below. They're all separated and I'm going to be reading for your, your divine counterpart, how they feel about you, how they see you. Um, I'll pull some, um, spirit for you, some guidance from spirit, as well as some more Oracle from divine abundance. So that's what we're going to look at. I do feel like this is really important for you to go back and listen to this message. Willing release. There is something here that I feel you're being a little too clinical and analytical about Libra. And you may need to just kind of let that go and operate on intuition. Um, you know, something has to be let go here. There's, I'm feeling some tighter control than may, than may ultimately serve your highest good. So whatever happens here toward the end of June is how this is looking. It may not end up exactly as you want it to. But again, if you release attachment to the form, you certainly have already released attachment to the timing. So that's good. I see that here. Um, but there is still some confusion for you, Libra. And I feel like if you can let go a little bit, then this scenario might maybe not be as difficult. It may be just like one more part of the path for the two of you to follow. So link is below Libra for your extended. I'll be there in a second. Otherwise take care and I will see you in a future reading. So that was for Libra. Last up is Aquarius. Woohoo, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. And um, that's exciting. I'm glad we're getting this done. Interesting how many cards are similar between the signs, um, even from fire to earth and earth to air. There are some similar themes coming through, almost all of which um, are around communication. So what deck was I using next? All right, I'm going here, so that will go here. Yeah. All right. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <laughs> Pulling your Oracle of the Seven Energies for you here, Aquarius. My goodness. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Aquarius, June 2021. What is coming through? What energy center needs your attention? 
message for our beautiful Aquarian friends. Whoops. I love it for you. Perfect. Call of the Muse, card 31. Card 31 is interesting, Call of the Muse. So it's the sound energy center. It is your throat chakra. It is your voice, your call and response. So let's look at card 31 for our beautiful Aquarian friends here. Ready? It says, when you feel the call of the muse, you are being invited to create, to be the artist choreographing your life, serving on behalf of the great artist, divine source. While the process feels intensely personal, your ego and self-identification are, ironically, the most unnecessary parts of the equation. While you might think you own the magic of your creativity, can you truly say you're the source of the inspiration? Similar to the spirit of genius from card 29, which I just pulled, um, imagine your creativity stemming from another spirit guide, the muse. Just as the genius needs to partner with your intellect, so too does the muse need you to open your heart and let magic flow through you, through your intuition and emotions. Stop seeing yourself as the center of the process and instead see yourself as a partner in a creative dance. Sometimes you might be inside the music and the feelings, the story and its expression. Other times you observe from the sidelines, watching it all flow from an unknown yet deeply intimate source. Today, your muse is calling you to be a channel and allow the creative energy to flow through you. The energy of emotion is waiting to be given a voice, a name, a shape, or a color. Journal, finish that writing project, start something new, paint, sing, dance, and don't worry where any of it lands. It has its own plans for you. Your muse knows where this is all meant to go. For you, the big magic is in the experience of answering the call. Ooh, I got a spirit chill. So answering the call of the muse here, Aquarius. Let it all move through you, work through you. Interesting. So in this time, Aquarius, of stilted communication, things feeling like it's like moving through molasses sometimes or quicksand, um, I feel like you're being told to use your creativity as an outlet and not really care about what it looks like or what form it takes, um, whatever inspires you, whatever calls you, you know, answer the call of the muse. Whatever floats your boat, it's all about creation, creativity. Lovely. Good outlet. That would be a good outlet. Let's see what's coming through for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury for June 2021. Whoop. Well, there you are. I love when you enter the reading in your own energy, what's crossing you. There's some Libran energy, maybe some measure of balance. Oof. Oh my God, Divine Masculine, Emperor, and whoa, Tower. Danger Will Robinson. Um, yeah, we'll look at it. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I see. Obviously, um, when, you, when you come into the reading as the star, I feel like you're coming in very hopeful. Uh, really, uh, definitely that call of the muse, very vulnerable here but sort of feeling very protected. So I'm just going to say that. But there's some healing that's needed, and I'm getting some clues about it. Um, justice is uh, the challenge, is the one area. Things not being very fair or maybe not being balanced during this period. I'll take a better look at it. It could also be about integration. How you're putting everything together could be frustrating for you integrating everything that's happening along the way, in other words, could be difficult. 
Um, Page of Swords underneath. I sort of feel like there's information like you can't wait to know. There's something you need to know here, but you're, you're kind of repressing it. It's underneath. It's not a big deal, but it's right under the surface. So in your psyche, it's almost maybe like you're cur curious. You know what they say, curiosity killed the cat. So a um, little curiosity, a little bit of I spy detective energy coming through from below. In the past, Queen of Pentacles, um, we've got there that, again, she's shown up in almost every reading. I feel like in the air signs, definitely. Um, you're the third one, and I think I've seen her in every single one. Um, again, it can be about self-care, but it's also an archetype of life partner. It's a feminine archetype, obviously. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very grounded, very dependable. But it's about, you know, something in your own life here, Aquarius, in the past, you've had to really take care of yourself. Um, you know, and I, I, I am seeing the star in more of a healing frame while still um, having faith and keeping hope alive. I feel like there's something that's been out of balance. And in the past, you were a little bit better about managing it and staying on top of things in your own life. Right here, we've got divine masculine energy, the emperor coming in, crowning you. This is some. This is about you taking control. Um, if you are a divine masculine, it, it could represent you. If you're here as a feminine, it can re represent the divine masculine being foremost on your mind, and that's your ultimate goal, is to um, find more balance with that person, maybe find out what they've been up to or receive some kind of information about them but the way that i'm seeing it is more about stepping in the um the driver's seat of your own life yeah you know taking some measure of control emperor and the tower are both aries energy guided by mars so i'm seeing some friction here um, you know, Mars is action. It's action embodied. The tower in the future could be that something just no longer serves you. It doesn't fit anymore. It doesn't work. It doesn't fit in the picture. So I'm going to take a look at that for you, Aquarius. We've got uh, your energy, Libra, Aries, Aries, and uh, some Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly. Show me the star. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So you've been on this very long, solitary journey here, Aquarius. Things have been unfolding very slowly and methodically and deliberately for you. Um, I want to say that, you know, some healing here around, may, well, this is a creative spark, so I love that, and that may be part of your healing here, and I'm saying that because I'm seeing the call of the muse, and the page is that, you know, it is a messenger, but it's wands, it's creative, it doesn't take itself too seriously after all this inner work you've done. So I almost feel like you're showing up here very wise. Uh, answering the call of the muse here, the star with the page of wands, there's a spark of something creative um, beginning to reveal itself very slowly. Born out of wisdom and your own journey of uh, self-awareness, spiritual journey perhaps. I'm saying that because the star and the hermit together. Justice is crossing you. Yeah, I kind of feel like, you know, you've been overthinking a situation where you felt set up. We've got the moon. Yeah, this is all about what's crossing you is nothing feels fair here. Um, I'm saying feels because of the moon, that Pisces energy of the moon. Yeah, just very feeling very vulnerable, not knowing your next best step, overthinking things, being trapped in your thoughts around something that has that you don't feel was fair. Here's a lack of fairness, an unfair fight, right? Justice and the five of swords. And there's fear here and it's got kind of got you all stuck. You can't kind of move forward. 
And the next best step is into that puddle Aquarius. So it is about dealing with your feelings and your fears. Wow. About something that just wasn't fair. Like you definitely feel, I think you felt set up here. Um, and, and totally out of ba balance. And it's hard to find that spark. It's hard to, ref you know, I feel like you're healing from it. So I do see the star as some healing energy here. Um, maybe somebody, Page of Wands, can also represent someone that didn't take your connection as seriously as you did. So things have been in slow-mo for you lately. Um, you may continue on that path a little longer, I'm afraid to say, because uh, your fears are holding you back. So that's your challenge in June, is coming to terms with how um, things that have not felt fair to you um, have held you back from maybe some creative impulses, new ways of looking at a situation. Mm. <clears throat> the feelings are deep. And I'm looking at someone who doesn't want to look at it, who doesn't want to deal with it, who would rather think their way through instead of feel their way through. Underneath, yeah, more thought, right? The Page of Swords, though, is more seeking information, little messages coming in or a message you may want to deliver. Um, some truth you're looking for. Some clarity. <laughs> the star. Yeah. Again, two pages. Wow. And Queen of Cups underneath. So this is about someone who has captured your heart, someone you do love. Um, and maybe you're just, you know, you're not getting enough out of it. You're trying to maybe see it in a new way, learn something new here. Beginner's mind is what's coming through with the Page of Pentacles to sort of help you stay in your positive side. Um, maybe just a word, some information you're looking for that can assist you in your healing and help, you know, keep you engaged and hopeful. Little baby steps here. And yet I'm feeling all the love being really super repressed. The love is there. You're feeling it. You're offering it here in this page of pentacles, but it's all kind of, it's down underneath. It's, um, Hiber not hibernating, percolating, it's percolating. Uh, but the two pages tell me that this is something that, you know, we've now got three pages. The only page I'm missing is the one that's been in every other reading, which is the page of cups. But I'm feeling there's lots of new energy here. You're finding your way through this situation, um, which is not familiar to you. So you're having to kind of learn as you go and learn as you grow. Uh, but there's something that's not been fair and you're very aware of it and it's keeping you feeling extremely stuck. Like you can't help, you can't move about the cabin because there's something that was just so dreadfully unfair and it almost feels like it was intentional. Queen of Pentacles in the past, Five of Cups. Nine of Wands, you tried to hold on. Ten of Wands, but you couldn't. All right, so I'm seeing um, regrets of the past here with the Five of Cups, the Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. So you tried to pursue, to persevere as much as you could. This was definitely very difficult and stressful um, and probably left you feeling a little bit battered, you know, and... Um, maybe not just even regretful, just sort of sad. I'm feeling grief here, heaviness, the weight of the world on your shoulders, and you finally kind of had to let it go. So the Queen of Pentacles is, is you in the past. Um, after really pushing through as much as you could, um, I kind of feel like you gave up and you kind of had to. And now, back in the power center, if this is you, Aquarius. Could be your divine counterpart. Let's take a look. Mm, Ace of Wands. Wow. Three of Swords and the High Priestess. She's shown up in every reading as well. So I kind of feel like this is you getting your passion back. Definitely Call of the Muse. 
mending your broken heart um, really in touch with your higher self. This is underneath, so it's not uh, it's not the you know your full mode of operation. But I see lots of wisdom here. Um, you may not be in communication with this person. That may be part of what's you know weighing so heavily on your heart. This is someone you'd like to move toward energetically. Take this is lots of passion, action, 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 passion, action. But I feel as if um, I do think it's you uh really wanting to ignite like you're wanting to be inspired feeling the divine gift of inspired passion coming through um yeah the healing that's taking place around this three of swords uh i feel the inspiration the creativity will will kind of help you heal almost as if it's coming in reversed the healing will be more complete at that point operating on your intuition feeling very connected spiritually to the divine to your higher power um sensing all the senses seeing the signs and synchronicities really in tune yes and let's see what the tower is about for the future Mm-hmm, lovers. Wow. Tower again. What's done is done, guys. Seven of pentacles underneath. I think you've, you know, the tower coming out twice. I want to read it to you, Aquarius. I don't do this often, um, but I want you to hear the potential for what this is trying to tell you, and I don't want to screw it up, <laughs> okay? Because it's um, it's important that we get this tower energy for you correct. It's never fun to see a tower once, much less twice. And so I'm seeing it as, all right, so here's what it says. And underneath this is seven of pentacles, so TikTok. On some level underneath in your heart of hearts, you know that it was a matter of time. The lovers is a card of choice. Got it? So when it comes to this connection, I see tower, the choices that you will make in time that have sort of been unfolding in time, clarified by the tower again. So let the tower be your friend here, Aquarius. Here's what it says. The key to the tower card lay in the crown blown off the top. The circular crown never fit the square tower. It may be your situation never fit. It may be you have evolved and moved past your current circumstance, right? Because that's what's been unfolding. We have all outgrown things that were once essential for us. The key lay in weathering the storm and shedding the snakeskin when it is time to move on, assert yourself, or take the steps you need to take. That is why the toughest, scariest cards come near the end of the major arcana. It is only through facing the tough stuff that we may taste the sweet nectar of growth and evolution. Got it? So that's what I'm seeing. Um, release, it says flash of brilliance. Got it? False illusions being shattered. Um, yeah, something that was never meant to be exit stage left is what it feels like. So it can also represent change that frightens you. Um, even when what is being destroyed was not good for you. Yeah, even if it was coming through reversed Aquarius, it would be about examining your current situation and making sure that everything, everything is kosher. Got it? So that's what I see in the future. I see you definitely asserting yourself, um, answering the call of the muse to finally mend your broken heart, using your intuition. Um, things not being in balance are, are keeping it hard. What's not in balance is you're not getting the justice. You're not getting that fairness. And I don't know that you ever will. And this situation may just have you choosing to exit stage left. On some level, I feel that it's a situation you have outgrown, part of your growth here. 
since the seven of pentacles was underneath. So I hope that makes sense for you, Aquarius. I do want to continue to the extended. So if this is speaking to you and you want to know how your divine counterpart feels about you, how they see you, and maybe get a message for yourself from spirit, the link to that is below. I'll be there in a second. Um, so I hope to see you there. If not, take care, stay well. June, 2021 feels like you're going to wrap up a lot here. A lot is leaving your past field of vision. Um, and I feel like you answer the call of the muse, let this, whatever this creative call is work in your favor. So you can release what no longer serves you, what you've outgrown, if that makes sense. Okay, everybody, air signs. It's a wrap. <laughs> See you in a future reading. Take care. Bye.